how to prepare for geometry. And when I say geometry, I mean geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, the whole, whole chunk. Right? Of these four chunks, geometry probably comes last. But geometry is a lot of fun. Right? I like geometry. And so I'm going to have a natural bias towards geometry. Geometry gives you some speed advantages. You can do some questions in geometry really quickly if you have fundas in place. And so geometry gives you range in the sense that there are, there are going to be three, four questions. You get that, then you, you can pick fewer questions from these spots, which are some of these could be really crazy. And so if you're super ambitious, you must learn geometry. Uh, you must learn geometry the right way. I'm going to dive into what is sitting inside geometry. Triangles and circles, quadrilaterals, this is the basic framework of geometry and then add some polygons to that. Then trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry. Okay, so uh, I'm going to focus on these three first, then go back to geometry. When you're doing uh, trigonometry, learn sine cos tan, learn angle rules, but you don't have to do sine 3x, you don't have to do sine 2x, you don't have to do sine of a plus b. That territory where trigonometric key equations and big giant books of solving you did when you are in class 11, 12, forget about it, that doesn't feature. Heights and distances you need to know, but uh, uh, angle combinations you don't need to know. Coordinate geometry, do lines, a lot of it, a lot of intuition, a lot of common sense. Do a touch on circles, but forget about conic sections, derivatives, tangents, normals. That world does not apply to us. And mensuration, know the basic formula for area and volume. Do not get into stuff where you have to differentiate, integrate and calculus comes in. The calculus leg of it is absolutely unnecessary. And now, how do you learn triangles, circles, quadrilaterals, polygons? Proofs, proofs and more proofs. And so, if, you, if somebody tells you, look, uh, from the center of a circle, if you draw a line perpendicular to a chord, it will bisect a chord. You must think about how do I prove this. Area of an equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4a square. Why? You have to say, look, I want to know what is the funda? How do you prove that area is root 3 by 4a square? Stuff like angle sum of a triangle, sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Why? It's a beautiful, intuitive, straightforward proof. And so, learn that, especially if you're saying, look, I want to have a shot at 99.7, 99.8. The proofs add depth to your understanding. Sometimes people say, people ask me often, so you keep saying, learn from Fundas, learn from Fundas, learn from Fundas. I've been given a script. Right? And sometimes I feel that the guys who get this topic are thinking about this question in a whole different way than me. I'm thinking how do I plug in, in which formula to plug in, which theorem to plug in here. They are looking at the diagram and going, oh, this has to, there is some similarity involved somewhere here. Uh, and I know that that is fundamental thinking. And my minus a plug and play style of thinking. But, and I understand that that is valuable, but how do I get there? How do I think? How do I train myself to think more from first principles? The absolutely devastating way of thinking from first principles is to pour over proofs. Because proofs are basically, theorems are basically, Matt says, look, you, you can, instead of starting from the crown floor to the 18th, 89th floor, I'll tell you, use this theorem on the 44th floor, use this theorem on the 67th floor, from here, jump here, use the theorem on the 82nd floor, and then walk up the last seven floors. That's what Matt is saying. So this theorem on the 44th floor is built on this whole structure. You read the proof for that theorem, you get more comfortable with 1 to 43. You've, you've navigated that. It's almost like you know how to go from 0 to 44, step by step, brick by brick, because you've discovered this proof. In the context of a question, jump from 44 and, and go there. But for learning from fundamentals, for building first principles thinking, one of the most kind of foolproof way of doing it is to understand proofs. Somebody has said, sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third. It gets used in almost every competitive exam every single year, worst case scenario, once in two years. And it's, it's, a, it's one of those nuggets that we all take for granted. All of us, we don't pause to think. We don't pause to say, oh, nice idea. Was it one of the original axioms of geometry or is there a proof for this? It's a beautiful proof for it. Check that out. Everybody will, will remember that they've heard Pythagoras theorem. Most of us have not paused to think, okay, what is the proof for Pythagoras theorem? Check that out. The proof for Pythagoras theorem, the, the, Pythagoras theorem has many proofs. One of the more fundamental proofs of Pythagoras theorem opens a window into a way of thinking about right triangles and similarity that is frightfully useful in specific questions. And so learning proofs is going to make you have access to the 99.7, 99.8, 99.9s of the world. If you're chasing these topics, your coordinate geometry, trigonometries, and 
functions and polynomials of the world, then you're pretty much saying, look, I'm not, I'm not finding a navigating route for 95 for myself. I want to crack 99.7, 99.6 for myself. And if you're that ambitious, then knowing conic section formulas and coordinate geometry, not useful. Knowing the proof for why area of a triangle is in radius into semi-perimeter, magical. And so learn geometry more thoroughly and not more expansively. And whenever we are learning, uh, very often we want to learn more and we feel like we have added this also. I didn't know this before. So that must give me an advantage. Knowing something thoroughly, especially in stuff like geometry, also in number systems, knowing something thoroughly is a bigger advantage than knowing one more thing, especially when that one more thing is way too difficult for our exam. You're not going to propound a thesis on geometry. You're going to crack this exam. Knowing the fundas deeper and clearer is could be magically more powerful than learning some lemma or theorem from, from, from God knows where. And so limit your syllabus, increase your depth, uh, get comfortable with proofs and, 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 and grappling with proofs and going through proofs and saying, oh, now I got this. That is going to be super helpful. The syllabus is straightforward, uh, but uh, learning fundamental ideas in geometry, super powerful. So, to learn geometry with a lot of rigor without bypassing steps and ideas and proofs and all that. Wonderful, guys. Best wishes. Hey, hope this video was useful. For more useful content, sign up with 2M for a 40-hour free course with us. All the best.